Hey guys, it's Doc's Market Minute for Thursday, June 11th. We've had a couple of strong days of bounce off of the bottom here of this channel pattern on the S&P and the Dow, I believe, has done the same thing too. So now that everybody's bullish again after two days to the upside, let's be objective about what has to happen for the markets to finally break out of this mess. Okay, because... Otherwise, we're just going to be going through the same pattern here. We bounce up for a couple days, everybody gets excited, and that gets faded back down again. And then everybody gets depressed, and then it bounces back again. So this is still range-bound behavior until it breaks out, and this is what we have to see happen. Obviously, the trends are still going to the upside right now on the major time frames, monthly and weekly. And what we saw was a change into a downtrend on the daily chart. And that has not been cleared yet. We're still showing lower highs and lower lows. Now, so far, this is nothing more than a lower high on the daily chart. So one of two things has to happen. Either the price goes up and takes out this pivot up here near 2120. Okay, so that's one possible way that we can see that happen. And frankly, this is sort of the way it's been moving lately. It's just going you know, to extremes in both directions. Or the other way that we can see this condition clear is for the price to go down here and give everybody the impression that it's going to fall to pieces and then establish a strong higher low because the previous low is down here, so a higher low, tick in a higher high, and then that changes the polarity back up to an uptrend on the daily chart. Now, it does still need to get above that 2120, and eventually we still need to see it go into all-time highs to confirm this uptrend. But this is sort of the pieces and parts that it's going to have to do over the next few days as we start to anticipate the reaction to the Fed meeting, which is next Wednesday, which is going to dominate the discussion as well as the price action into next Wednesday afternoon. So, folks, that is it for today's Market Minute. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.